Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether we lose anything by going to heaven. This time, is there anything that we don't lose by going to hell? As with going to heaven, just by dying we lose our bodies and all our material possessions, but in heaven we still have body-like abilities and the comforts of paradise, which make the loss of those things really not important at all. In hell, there is no consolation, because consolation is a good thing. There are also no positive sensations or comforts, because those are good things too. So the first loss, and one of the biggest, is everything having to do with physical life, our bodies, and every single thing we've ever earned, made, or collected. Also, every type of pleasant sensation ever. What about our relationships with others? Well, when you get down to it, there are really only two reasons why we bother to even have relationships with other people. Either we want them to make our lives or experiences more pleasant, or better in some way, or else we want to help them in some fashion. In hell, neither of these things is possible, because they'll never do anything good for you due to being deprived of the grace of God, which is needed in order to do good things. And you'll never be able to cheer them up because, as I said, that's impossible in hell. Because of that, there's really no reason to even have relationships anymore. So, while I suspect that there will still be relationships of some kind between souls in hell, there will be nothing good or enjoyable about that. We can call this a loss as well. I'm still a little on the fence about whether souls in hell are also deprived of all knowledge of the truth. Technically, knowledge of the truth is a good thing if you take it by itself, but in hell, the truth is that, well, you're in hell, and you're never going to get out, or reform, or repent. Is that really a good truth to hear? I don't know about you, but knowing that was true would only increase my suffering. So really, whether souls in hell have knowledge of the truth or not, it's a big, big loss either way. Our moral character? If you can't do good things anymore, you've lost that. End of story. So yeah, that's everything. You lose everything if you end up in hell. And it's more than just loss. In hell, there are actually unpleasant experiences and sensations that we often don't even imagine here on earth, because we just don't stop to think about what it would be like if everything good just disappeared suddenly. So in that sense, it's worse than losing everything. As we covered in past episodes, the only thing you don't lose in hell is your existence, and given how unpleasant the whole affair is, I'm betting that feels like a loss too. Next time, would I still be myself in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.